Okay, so you don't have a clear pot. You think you're gonna need to repot. You're not entirely sure, but in this case, you don't have a clear pot. You can't see how pot bound your orchid is. You only can see the surface of the pot and you can see that the new growths are gonna be coming up against the edge of the pot. And then of course, that is the signal for you to repot. Also when you see new roots coming. But what if your orchid still had space in the pot? It's been in the pot for a long time, still can't see the roots. Do you know whether you need to repot? So you give it a squeeze. I'm gonna hold it up to the mic. You can hear the lacquer crunching. That means it is loose in there. So that's a good thing. You still have air in the pot and you don't need to repot if your orchid still has space. Another way you can check that, however, is to soak the pot as we normally would do anyway prior to any repot. You're gonna soak the pot and you're gonna fill it with water, preferably calcium, magnesium, something along those lines to boost whatever stress she's going to go into now because of the repot. So a little bit of calcium, magnesium, 30 minutes, but I'm gonna take off my mic, I'm gonna hold it to the pot, and then we're gonna listen to what the pot's reaction is when the water pours in, and we'll talk about it afterwards. So I hope that you heard those bubbles, the gargling and all that happening in the pot while the water was starting to distribute around the lecker. That means there's still enough aeration in the pot. The roots aren't entirely pot bound. You can also see that I had filled the pot up all the way to the top and it has receded back down. Slowly, yes, but it has receded. And we can top that up again. If the orchid were to be pot bound and you needed another confirmation whether you need to repot your orchid and you can't see into the pot, then this would be another checkpoint for you to see what is the condition of your pot, how is the aeration, how pot bound is the orchid, because if it were completely pot bound, and I will show you some examples in future repots, that water that you poured in at the first time would not recede. So we had bubbles, we had gargling, and we had water receding. The only reason we need to repot this orchid is because the growths are up against the edge of the pot. If that were not the case, this orchid wouldn't need to be repotted. I hope that this was helpful because if you want to get away from using clear pots and do something a little bit more decorative, but you're not sure how you could monitor the roots in your pot, here are some pointers that can give you a guideline. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. One condition though, that you stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.